this collab is with a bunch of lovely ladies um, on Instagram, YouTube. Uh, this was organised by Sister Chic, aka Deborah. Um, this is the Outside the Box Summer Polish Picks. This was kind of a bit weird for me to do. Uh, as I live in Australia, we are actually going into winter at the moment, uh, whereas on the upper part of the planet they're going into summer. Um, so it was kind of difficult to pick polishes that kind of make me think summer, but are a bit outside the box. But I managed to come up with some. Um, I have actually done live swatches of each of these polishes, plus I have three that are actual manicures, which I will also show live swatches of and pictures of so that you can see them, um, rather than just holding up the bottle with a um, swatch of it. So let us get into them. It was basically supposed to be 10, so I have uh, 7 nail polishes and 3 manicures. So my first out of the box uh, summer pick is this polish from Coral Glam, uh, from Layla called Coral Glam. So from their hologram line, these are some of the best holographic polishes that I have seen. It's a little muted, but when you go outside with a holographic polish, it just, it sparkles and shimmers and it is just amazing. And yeah, this is probably more of a springy type colour because it's a little bit muted, um, but I still think it would be great in the summer. and it is called London de Royale. It is a super dark purple. Super dark purple is generally fall colours or maybe winter colours but this is just such a beautiful colour and a fabulous nail polish by the way um, that I think it would be a great summer colour for something a little bit different.
great expectations from L'Oreal. This is a kind of mauvey sort of colour. A good choice for a neutral kind of colour that doesn't get too in your face if you just want a bit of colour on your nails but you don't want to go too far and I think it would look great against a tan. So this is my next I love the box pick. from Sally Hansen. This is a very soft minty green, very much a spring type colour, but it reminds me of mint ice cream and it's kind of got that ice creamy kind of quality to it which is perfect for summer. So this is my next pick. This is I Heart My Blue Jeans. This is quite a dark denim type blue. It just reminds me of cut off shorts and that kind of thing. And even though it's quite a dark colour, probably more winter type colour normally, I think it would be great for something a little bit different in summer.
next pick is from BYS, which is an Australian brand. This is called Lucky Ducky. This is a very pale yellow colour. This is another one that kind of reminds me of ice cream, though it's more of a spring colour. I think it's great for summer in that it's a little bit softer. It would be nice to have something not quite so eye-popping sometimes during summer. So this is my next pick. of my single polishes is from Sinful Shine, the Kylie collection from the Signature collection. This is on fire because this is what happens in Australia <laughs> when it's summer, is you feel like you are on fire, which makes this a great choice. This is a really intense red with lots of gold shimmer. Uh, it, it's actually really, really gorgeous. I actually really love it. And I think it is a fabulous out-of-the-box type choice for summer. Manicure is what I like to call icy, which is basically a combination of a plain white polish, in this case Ultra 3's Lily White, and a holographic silver topper. This happens to be B802 from B Nails, which is um, a nail salon supply brand. I just like the combination in summer of something that makes you feel a little bit cooler and I think that this is a good way of going is to do something which is really a winter type manicure in summer instead. So this is my icy manicure.
This one is Dreamer from Revlon. This is Saks number 66, which is like my favorite gray. Um, and I have basically painted my nails with Dreamer and then sponged on some of the gray and then some of Lily White to do a sort of cloudy summer storm type of sky. I think during summer one of the things you really want to see is some clouds in the sky, especially if you happen to live in Australia. with Spark and Pe Pepper from uh, Sally Hansen over the top of it. Uh, this orange is pretty much the colour of uh, Weed Whackers with some silver and black on them, hence the... Plus it has these little uh, shards of holographic in it, which makes everything better. Um, yeah, so this is my Weed Whacker manicure.
are my out of the box summer nail polish picks. I will leave everybody else linked down below so you can go and check all of them out. And I want to say thank you to Sister Chick for whatever for asking me to be in this. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like collabs and nail polish type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.